Today we are going to add this temperature sensor to this heater which is a bit smarter since we installed this smart plug so that we can automate it to turn on and turn off based on the temperature that you will set. So for example, if you want to turn the heater on, if it reaches 23 degrees or below, it will turn on. And then if you want to turn it off when it reaches 30 degrees Celsius or above, it will shut off and it will be on that range that you decide. Now on the example that you are seeing on screen or that you have already seen, I did set below 23 degrees and above 26 to show down. But let's see how easy it is to put this on the app. And for that we just need this temperature sensor and this smart plug. Of course we can also use other temperature sensors. This one has a display, looks really nice, but there are a few more simple ones without the display which are cheaper as well. So I will try to leave links down below. And besides that we just need to configure this action in the app and that is it. So in terms of the app we just need to open the Shelly app. We will go to our scenes and we will create a new automatic scene. After that we will need to select or choose the condition. In our case we will select the temperature sensor. When the text temperature in this example more than 26 degrees it will trigger a action. So next we will select the action which in our particular case is the Shelly plug S which in this example will turn off. So we just need to save the settings right over there and then we will have other options like days and time but we will leave everything as it is so it will work automatically every single day on any time as long as it meets the criteria which is above 26 degrees Celsius it will shut off this plug. And now we just need one more step because we want to shut off at above 26 but I want to turn it on at below 23. So we just need to select another new action and it will be the same. We will start by selecting our temperature sensor and after that instead of selecting above 26 I will select below 23. Then we just need to select our trigger which we will select once again Shelly plug S as a trigger and as an action and after that we just need to select turn on instead of turn off. Then save the configuration and that is it. We have at this moment the eater turning on at below 23 and turning off at above 26. Now on the example that you probably have seen on screen I did put it here on the top of the eater and what happens is that the refresh is not every single second so it will take a few seconds to refresh. So probably you have seen jumping from 25 point something to 30, 32 because it got heated here on the plastic and then to cool it down I had to use this small fan right over here so I could cool it down to the 23 degrees so that it could turn on the heater once again actually turn on this plug which will then turn the heater so just have that in mind that I did try to recreate something here and I did spend quite some time especially cooling down the sensor but if we put this on a normal and real situation what I would do is to put this not near the heater but somewhere that I know that this is where I want that temperature to reach and once it reaches I can shut it off and then if it cools down to a temperature that I feel that it's not comfortable then to turn on back the heater. So we will save energy in the long run by having these automatizations. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper. And this is a really simple process but if you are new to the channel and curious I will leave a playlist down below with some of the projects that we have done because we can use for this heater but we have used in the past with a different sensor for example to turn on the water heater to 
eat the water until it reaches a certain temperature and we have done a lot more so that being said i will leave the links down below hope that you enjoyed and if you did don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one